This is my 1981 Honda XR500. We're doing some simulations here with the oiling system, trying to nut out why they uh, have a habit of destroying camshafts. Um, what I've done with this engine, we modified it somewhat. It's uh, now got a 591cc kit in it. We've got a Carrillo rod, uh, heavy duty main bearings. It's an FT500 uh, flat track racer cylinder head, been ridiculously ported. Um, got some big, big ports in there now, so it's going to eat a lot of fuel, a lot of air. So to account for that, we've uh, changed the FI, just because. Um, big throttle body there. Fair bit of work to change it over. Had to weld an um, injector boss into the top of the head, angle that right, the back of the valves, weld on another manifold at the back of the head to mount the um, air fire throttle body. Um, engine internals, we beefed them up much as we can, as I say, Carrillo uh, Conrod, uh, heavy duty main bearings, uh, FT500 clutch, and oiling system is where we paid most of the attention. We bored into the oil gallery directly underneath the oil pump, and um, instead of the oil coming out through the clutch cover and, and into the gallery and doing its thing, we diverted it outside into an external oil filter now and back into the original oil galleries via the clutch cover so that's the standard oil galleries and it's doing its thing like it normally would only thing we've done is bypassed it and allowed it to, um, to get some decent oil uh, filtration the filter, uh, the oil pump in itself we've machined every surface that there is the machine um, rebushed the back of the pump where they just normally run in aluminium these things are getting 30 years old more now so they're hard to find good pumps uh, we made brand new oil pump gears for them and actually made uh, high volume oil pumps for these as well but it turns out you don't need the high volume oil pumps because they've got uh, loads and loads of flow as you'll see soon uh, everyone's got a theory on why these things uh, eat the camshafts uh, a lack of zinc in the oil lack of lubrication on the top around the oil bath where the camshaft uh, picks up the oil um, clearly lack of maintenance is one that will do it we're using Megacycle cams here, um, very, very good camshafts, um, had no problems with them. I think the problems that we may have had uh, experienced previously, I believe, could be um, pointed towards the lack of zinc in the oil. That or a lack of um, compatibility with the rockers that we were using on the Megacycle camshafts. So we're, we're getting Megacycle to, to supply the rockers to us now, and um, I'm pretty sure that's going to fix our problems. Like I say, very, very good camshafts, these. Um, their service has been fantastic. So we had to look elsewhere to where problems might lie. Um, so what I'm going to do now, fire up the engine, uh, just on the oil pump side of itself, that allows us to, to see what the oil pump uh, flow circuit is doing, where the oil is going, how much is it going, um, how much is getting up to the top rather. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is fire it up and this is going to simulate the engine idling at around 1200, uh, 1200 RPM. You'll see the oil hole there where the um, oil comes up through the engine up to lubricate the camshaft. So you'll see how much oil is up there when the engine's idling. So I'll fire that up now. So there comes the oil. So that's the amount of oil that sits in the oil, oil bath underneath the camshaft just while the engine's idling at about 1200 RPM. I've got the engine sitting up quite level at the moment. Normally it would be sitting that way. Um, so it's not much oil tipping forward into the exhaust, uh, around the exhaust valves to cool them. That would normally tip out there, but there's a shallow side uh, on the inlets just because of the way I've got the engine tipped up at the moment. If I increase the RPM of the drill to simulate, this would be somewhere around uh, 4000 uh, engine RPM. You see how much oil is pouring out of there now. The hell a lot of oil comes out of these pumps and out of these engines. So I think we can safely get rid of one myth and that there's a lack of oil up to the um, uh, to the camshaft on these engines. As you can see there's heaps of oil gets up there. Uh, that's, this oil pump is a standard oil pump just slightly over, um, over stock size ever so slightly, um, essentially it's a standard one. We're building up it's under 15 PSI there. Of course the PSI is not important here, within the roll of bearings and so on. It's, that drops right down, a couple of PSI when it's idling. Uh, this is straight 20 weight oil that we're using. 
of course it's at room temperature so uh, but it's indicative it's, it's just gives you an idea of where the, where the oil's going anyway not totally solved the mystery but um, I think we're a little bit clearer on it now